Hello everyone. DHCP is the process that allows a device to obtain an IP address. That's the short explanation of a complicated process. Obviously there's a lot that goes into it, and this video will go over some of the highlights at a very high level. This video is primarily for CISSP students, but hopefully the rest of you can find some benefit from it. So with that said, let's dig into what it is, how it works, and a mnemonic to help you on the CISSP exam. DHCP is a protocol designed to assign an IP address from a pool of pre-allotted IP addresses that are on a DHCP server. That server is typically operated by the internet service provider like AT&T or Verizon, or by your company's network administrator for internal connections. DHCP uses the UDP protocol to transmit. The way it works is like this. The client sends a DHCP discover packet using port 67 to request an available IP address. The server responds with DHCP offer using port 68 to offer an IP address. The client then responds with DHCP request to use the offered address. The server then responds with DHCP ACK and allows the client to bind to the IP address. If the server is unresponsive, the client will self-assign an IP address in the 169.254.x.x range. That's known as the Automatic Private IP Addressing, or APIPA. Those X values are automatically generated by using an offset algorithm and the real-time clock value. While the APIPA falls into a Class B address, it's reserved for when DHCP fails. DHCP version 6 uses IP version 6 addresses. One of the risks related to DHCP would be rogue DHCP services. In other words, something pretending to be the DHCP server. Countermeasures would be port authentication of MAC addresses for all workstations, a zero-trust architecture, or configuring your intrusion prevention system to drop any unauthorized packets. If you're new to Domain 4 concepts and have a hard time retaining this information for the exam, we have a silly little mnemonic that hopefully can help you. This is a bit of a stretch, so please just bear with me here, and if this doesn't work for you, just spend some extra time studying DHCP in Domain 4. So with that said, here we go. Take the letters DHCP and add a small U in front of it. Then add a 67, 68, and 69 after it. In looking at the new letters, group the outer letters and you'll see the UDP. That will help you to remember UDP. The numbers 67 and 68 are the ports to be used. The 69 is related to the 169 dot 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 APIPA address that's used for when DHCP fails. To remember the IP client server communication process, simply look at the D and the P of the DHCP and remember discover and pack. Or if you absolutely need to remember all the steps, you can imagine the DHCP standing for discover, hoffer or offer with a silent H, then request with a C instead of a Q, and obviously the P ending with pack. Now remember that it's not actually quote unquote pack, it's ACK, but the P remains from the DHCP and it helps us to remember. You can write it vertically like it's shown here, or if you prefer to write it horizontally like it's shown here as well. Whichever works for you best, go with that option. That's it for this quick lesson. I hope you learned something. If so, please consider hitting the like button and sharing a comment below. Thanks for your time. Hope you have a great day.